Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well as ever. We've got a Funko Pop review for you today and we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Futura Pops. Now, they came out last year and they were a special collaboration between um, the artist Futura and Funko. Um, obviously, you know, Star Wars are in there too, but they just, you know, Funko has their license. But um, there was five in the wave, in the set, I believe. There was a Jawa and C-3PO that I, um, I haven't got. Um, but uh, as you can see here, we've got Darth Vader, um, a Stormtrooper, and R2-D2 looking awesome. Um, you know, the the future of Pops were something that kind of came out of nowhere, and they're very different. I mean, they're not, you know, not something we've had before. Um, it's that artistic, you know, take on something. It's just the character sculpt with a different pattern um, kind of artwork on it. Now, obviously... Um, the artwork that he did was something he designed beforehand and then it is printed onto each individual pop. Now, from what I understand, each um, each print is slightly different. So for example, like you can see with um, you can see with uh, like RTD2 where the blue um, design is around his eye, where Vader's red dots are, where the stormtrooper's blue dots are, for example, um, and stuff like that. Um, from from the the intel I have, um, that's slightly different on every single one, so that's kind of cool. Um, I know it is just, you know, it's it's a, a printing thing, it's not like he did them by hand, um, which would have been uh, incredible um, to have, you know, a, a, a kind of one-of-a-kind piece um, that was hand, uh, hand painted, but um, in terms of the fact that they are all different, that's cool. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to see that you kind of you do have something unique in a way um, and I mean you know like uh, on the box uh, Funko you know made a statement on these and obviously the boxes on these are you know they're fantastic too it's a really nice box presentation but um, Funko made a statement on there saying uh, Funko is proud to introduce the first uh, pop collaboration with graffiti icon and passionate Star Wars fan Futura um, I hadn't heard of Futura before this collaboration, but when I, you know, I looked into it, it's, it's you know, it's really cool stuff, and um, I think this collaboration is uh, is an awesome idea. Um, they go on to say the series combines Futura's abstract artistic style that incorporates both text and imagery with his favourite Star Wars characters in Funko Pop form. Um, yeah, so you know, an interesting, um, an interesting collaboration. I'd like to see more of these kind of things in the future. Um, you know, the future of pops are something that they're, you know, they're they're different, they're unique. Um, so you know, you don't want to see a lot of them all of a sudden coming out of the woodworks because you know it's, it's not as um, not as special that way. But I mean, in terms of a pickup, like so straight off the bat, they were way more than the uh, original price of like a Funko Pop because they come in a, a a pop stack. Now that's the hard plastic case protective. Um, cases that Funko make themselves um, there's a lot of mixed feelings about them I think that if like when you consider that you get them with the pop considering that they're you know a future artistic collaboration I understand that they wanted to do a little bit more and they wanted to probably avoid actually any of these getting trashed considering they weren't going to remake them in a huge quantity because they were hard to get your hands on so straight off the bat um, you know when they first came out finding them at you know a store or whatever was real difficult then the second hand market they were they were going for more than three times their original retail price um which of course they are it's it's going to it's going to happen that's what you know what happens on the secondary market you got there first you know someone wants it the price goes up because it's demand um you know supply and demand um so in terms of the fact that it comes with a pop stack yes you have to pay more but at the same time I mean, it's a free pop stack. Now, you know, you can get the thinner um, vinyl, um, you know, collapsible uh, pop protectors that are just as good. And quite frankly, they're way cheaper and they're way more um, you know, practical. Considering that a pop stack is like £10, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy them on their own just for a pop. Unless it's like a grail that, you know, it's worth hundreds or thousands, um, then I can see it. I mean, you know, obviously, but in that scenario that's kind of not what they're I don't think that's what they're they're aimed for um necessarily but I mean you know it's a good option and you know if, if Funko are making the product they're obviously going to want to you know capitalize on the protection they're not going to leave that to outside market for too long so um I understand that 
in terms of the prices though like so it's interesting to see kind of with with, um, with mine so the stormtrooper all of a sudden I got a notification from Forbidden Planet one day saying that they had uh, a, a special shipment basically of these and I was oh I really because the stormtrooper is kind of like my favourite character uh, in the Star Wars universe just because of the iconic design it's not not the individual characters but just as a as a designed, you know, an artistic choice. You know, I love the original um, Ralph McQuarrie artwork and stuff like that. It's it's so cool. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Picked up around, I think it was around the twenty pound mark, obviously plus shipping, which is is what it was marked, you know, to be as. Um, and I was like, you know, I only want one, um, just to sort of to uh, to have one at the time. So I was like, twenty's fine. You get a pop stack, whatever. Um, you know, I had a different pre-order down the line with um, with um, the entertainer, um, who actually the the pre-order got delayed through no fault of their own, um, and they actually sent the R two D two for free with my order, saying sorry about the delay. And I was really taken aback. That I thought that was a really nice touch because, again, they're not easy to get your hands on. Um, they didn't have to do that. The fact that they even sent me something was nice, um, but they didn't tell me what it was going to be. So when they were like, "We're going to send you a free gift," I was like, "Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be." So when it came, I was I was really happy. It was it was really nice of them. Um, so that was free. And then when you look at the Darth Vader, um, a while ago in the UK, um, Lidl uh, got a random kind of assortment of, of Funko Pops with the Darth Vader um, Futura Pop being one of them. And when I heard about it, I was like, "Okay." You know, rushed down to my local little, and I managed to find one in in good condition for like seven pounds. Which, when you consider how much um, it's meant to be for a start, and then how much they were going for at the time, that was really nice. So, in terms of like Futura pops, like they're really cool. I'm mixed about you know the price tags on them, you know, in the secondary market. But like again, they're you know they're really cool. They've got some cool presents. They're something different. Um, and you know, I I love artwork and I love um, pop culture art so you know anything like this is great I mean um, recently they released the the concept um, Star Wars characters that I really want to get a couple of those pops they look so cool I, I really like the RTD2 and the, just this like silver uh, base coat that looks really cool the Darth Vader looks awesome um, you know a couple of those other ones you know based off the Ralph McQuarrie drawings they're, they're awesome they also just announced that they're going to be doing the Star Wars line of black light pops which um, if you've seen my Marvel Blacklight uh, pop video, they're some of my favourite pops in the collection. I love the box, I love the design, um, you know, based off the comic book design. The colours are awesome, the, you know, the the glow-in-the-dark um, kind of paint really pops and they just have, you know, they're amazing presents. They have, um, they have uh, a, a great um, kind of all-round sort of thing going on there where you know the box looks um, original and different it's awesome the um, actual design of the characters is great and then the paint applications is fantastic too and then the black light function is just you know it really um, really puts it up there and the fact that they're going to be releasing some Star Wars ones so I think there's there's Vader and Luke and you know a couple other characters um, I definitely want to get my hands on those I mean they look even better than the Futura ones to be honest and um, you know, again, w- alongside my MCU black light pops, they would be my favourite in the collection. Obviously, there's a couple of um, you know other favourites in here, like my um, you know my special edition flame throwing Mandalorian, and you know like um, some of the other ones that you'll you'll see um, at some point during the channel. You know, sort of uh, uh, videos that come out I mean I've got like my collection of stormtroopers and stuff like that like I said they're one of my favourite characters and so you know some real cool cool ones in there but I mean um, yeah the black light pops they've just got something different about them that really draws me in I don't know what it is but they look fantastic but um, yeah I would in, in terms of the, the future pops I definitely think for the right price they're something cool to pick up I mean um, you know I don't know if uh, they'll do any anything else with him in, in the future and I don't know if there'll be any events where he does anything like you know signings or whatever but you know there's some people out there that like that kind of thing you know they want to get a piece and have it signed or something and especially if you're a Futura fan before this happened you don't know who Funko even are that's kind of like a cool thing for you um, but yeah like they sit on top of my um, my bookshelf and uh, they, they they look pretty damn cool in the stacks. So uh, I thought I'd share them with you and and, and see what you guys uh, 
you thought about them. Um, in terms of picking them up, I mean, you know, it's completely up to you. I would definitely, um, uh, you know, I definitely recommend uh, having a look at them and, and picking one up if you ever find it because it's um, obviously for the right price, but um, it's hard to come by. I know the, the C3PO one and the Jawa one, one of them is like a camo and I can't remember the print of the other one, but they are look, you know, they do look really cool and they are, um, again, they're, they're hard to find. So, um, yeah, I, I would definitely uh, keep an eye out for them. Um, yeah, so I, I hope this uh, video is informative, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you can see here, I mean, like, you know, those future pops have got some great presents and uh, they make a great addition to the collection. So um, I'm going to leave you with this one, guys, as ever. Take care. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I really appreciate it. And leave a like on the video if you enjoy it too. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.